the big daddy of the oh, sorry big daddy of the the moldy plate this is a very sophisticated piece of machinery um, I haven't brought it's got two fences put a fence on each side like the one that Bobby's got over there has got, got it fitted. And that is great for, the, for tongue and grooving mm -hmm. so that you, you've got support on, a, on, on the, edge of a, the edge of a narrow piece of wood. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the two fences holding it. So that, that's one of the advantages. The other thing is these fences, you can change the angle from 90 degrees to 40 or 45 or whatever you want. And you could then do uh, a a beading on the on the edge of a of a pillar of a square pillar of, of a cabinet or something like that. Um, so that's something you could do. Uh, other than, otherwise, it's the same as the the forty five. It's got the all the same adjustments. It's got the, the, the splitter, yep. the fence. It's also got a as that one has got two two fences. You can put two. Oh, not fences. I need to put in. Uh, death stops but the one that makes this unique the thing that makes this unique it's got a third a third ski if you, if you can see in the middle here it's got a third ski mm -hmm. which you only use on certain cutters and that gives on the wider cutters which are of fancy profile it gives the support in the middle otherwise you get a lot of ripped out and tear so yeah. Sorry? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> OK, so it's very difficult to use. And as I say, you've got to have to want to. And, and um, I've got a clock around the corner. I'll bring and show you just now, which I made about 20, 25 years ago when I was still learning. I didn't know really how to use this. And, and I did that whole thing by Every time I made a cut, lowering the blade slightly because I didn't understand. I'd never seen a manual. I'd never seen a demonstration. There was no internet in those days that I could go to. So I, I battled, and, then, and and now I've got a better idea. So I've made a few since then, and I've had better success. So um, it's also it's it's called the 55 because it's got 55 cutters. So you can do. All the things that those two can do, plus a whole lot of other other cuts. So you can see all the all the blades, all the cutters, the the, the beading cutters and the reading cutters are exactly the same, and the, these blades are all interchangeable. And then you get the, the fluting cutters, which that one doesn't have, and then all the fancy profile cutters. Straight cutters, uh, window frame of moulding, and the tongue and groove cutter. So, as I say, this is a, uh, can be a cause of great embarrassment, but I'm going to risk it and, and, and try and cut a little, a little mould. But um, it's uh, it's great fun, you, you know, if you. Bit nutty and that way inclined, but I, I do enjoy it. And I, I've made I use it mostly for clocks. Clocks and this one I've used for clocks. Um, it's called remedial frustration. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, just, um, it's a challenge, I suppose. Yeah. You, you know, you, you, you want you want to master it. And um, you also um, create a few new words that are quite descriptive. So it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh dear. Yes. Um, <laughs> or dash or something like yeah, that. Same on. Okay. So I've got this. I've got one which which will make. Um, did I do one with it? It'll make. To make that that profile without the beading. That's clever. 
it will, it will make this. Um, well, okay. to have quite a bit at each end because yeah. when you start it's hard to get it perfect and when you go off at the end you, you, you tend to, to wobble on, on the fence a bit. So if you're going to make something make sure you've got a, a clean bit at each end, uh, a, a, a bit of waste at each end so you've got clear in the middle. <laughs> when I've looked on YouTube and that they, they start at the back and they, and they push it through. Not a good idea. You, with all of these, you start getting established at the at front, the, at mm -hmm. the front end and then you, you work backwards and that way you yeah. get a, 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 an easier operation. Well okay. surely pushing it from this end yeah, right the way through, yeah. you must get tear around yeah, some of the up into the chunk that you do. Yeah. And, and you start it, with, it, with it, no control. It cuts nicely but it, 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 uh, it's harder. Yeah, but I, I think that you run the risk of getting tear out, yeah. which you end up lowering your and profile. And also the, the control. You, yeah. You don't have control. Also, you, 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 your fence is fully in touch with the side of the wood when you're starting in the middle. Where you start on the end, you tend to yeah. curve it. Looks like it's going to go that way. You see? Yeah. You see? This, this grain. Down this grain. Look on the other side? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and also, this, this, this top grain is, is going in this direction. Yes. So, ideally, you want the grain going. Up there, and yeah. but now even this one would have been difficult. Well, well, the, the, the top, the top yeah. crane is going yeah. against the ground. Right. So, yeah. so uh, this wasn't the nicest. Oh, uh, nicest let, let, let's say my my admiration just goes out for the old people. If I say old, and the guys always said, "Listen, you mustn't talk about old people." But I mean, they, they, I mean, that, that old Scottish fellow that I knew. He was, a, he was a master, master person. You cannot believe the work he did. Just put my hand and the hand saw. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Can, can, can I just make another remark about, you know, uh, those machines are supposed to do a tongue and groove. Yes. Now, just imagine, you know, I, I've seen, I've been in houses where there's a tongue and groove floor <coughs> and it's four meters long. Yeah. And, and those floors are, over a hundred years yeah. old and, and that guy that must be working that tongue and groove and there's not just one plank yeah. there, there, there's a, a you know yeah. like, a, by, six, by 65 yeah. meters, uh, millimeters wide and, and there's about 30 uh, planks and all Oregon Park. Yeah. Probably a hundred years ago there would be none in the mall. There would be none in the mall hundred years ago. 
10 years ago, 100, 150, it would have been done by hand. 100 years ago, it would have been done by hand. They had that steam power or water power, and they would have done yeah, that machine. No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I can't imagine me doing a tongue and groove playing uh, with that machine, uh, a three meter long piece. <laughs> you know, you want individual pieces, and yeah. the fits the, the, that's where you would have done that. Yeah. Yeah. You would have fit the boards to the cover and you would have tongue and groove in there. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm just saying, yeah. no, 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 the, the, the scope of the work, <laughs> uh, the, the, the magnitude you of the work. Can you imagine making a, a, a window frame? Yes. Yes. Where's that piece of the window frame? All by hand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you you got to swap in windows now. You see the number of windows that turn out to oh, yeah. and, and you can imagine having to actually yeah. equip yeah. half the UK with windows. Yeah. 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 And, uh, Once, okay. uh, if, if you, for, I made a crown molding here using three different profiles mm. and, I, and you just glue them, you can just glue them together and so easy. you you can make six you mm. can make yeah. it as wide and as much as you want it's not connecting but it yeah, it's not connecting uh, 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 <laughs> so uh, it was an error since Something about the era. Good, then we don't hear the score. So if you're, not, if you're making a clock or a small display cabinet or something and you want to put a little yeah. enhancement on the clock, you can make three or, three or four different uh, moments, do them I'll together. I'll bring it to you. <laughs> I'll bring it to you. Okay, no, no. <laughs> Because being handwork is quite an expensive uh, operation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. But, um, so, uh, so there's lots one can do. Um, I'll, I'll show you my very first effort was this, um, this clock. I found that we were having some building down at, at our office and the guy shop fitter threw out a piece of wood which was painted black. I said, what are you doing with that? He said, I'm throwing it away. I said, no, you're not. I put it in my car and it turned out to be in boil. And uh, I reclaimed it and cut it up by my hand in those days. And then I used all these cutters to make to make the mouldings for this clock, and they they, they all mounted. You see, they all mounted. And you can see, I put a, a one on the edge, and then one on the top and the bottom. So a lot of different designs, a lot of different cutters that we use to make up those profiles. And subsequently, I've made a few more like that, but I've become a bit more sophisticated and proficient. So, any, any, any other questions? <coughs> Oi, any questions? <laughs> no, I've got no questions. You want to stop now so you can go home and play with your plane? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, look, uh, like I said, you can see there I've got planes. Uh, that's not all that I've got. But, but I, you know, I've never had the want to say I want to make a mold. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the um, mouth that works yeah. fantastic yeah. for me. Uh, <laughs> no, you know, I don't do this very often. But um, sometimes I have a project and then, then I, I do use it. Yeah, well, we, we expect I, 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 a nice show and tell from you yeah. in October. <laughs> <laughs> On, on the map, the 55. Uh, no, I, 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 I'm just thinking. Wait, wait, please, uh, if I know you, we're just thinking. Uh, I've got a collection of antique tools. I've got a fantastic. Yeah, that your wife also. <laughs> yes, my wife. My wife's even older than the tools. <laughs> but uh, you know, if I, uh, I, I look and I see, yes, guys, also that there's got old tools, what the collections of I, I don't know. But I, I, if I say I'm thinking, you know, I can't come with all my tools to the clubhouse or even to here and say, 
You know, and if we can't make an open day there by my place, uh, and the guys that is interested in this, uh, and look, I, I don't want to go through the planning that I, I need it for Winston, but we can maybe uh, show how some of the tools work and so on. But uh, I'm prepared to say, listen, I'll open up my workshop and the guys can come and have a look and, and, and we'll display it and we can talk about it and whatever. But I, I don't know, the committee must maybe talk about that. We have to do that in Winston, I think we'll have to do a free, you'll have to go and observe and see what you've got. Yeah. I have to do a reconnaissance. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, look, I, I, as I say, uh, we can discuss and, you know, see whether it's, if, if, if I use the word, whether, whether it's worth it. Whether there's enough interest. Yeah, whether there's enough interest. Well, that's the big thing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, because, uh, you know, I, I'm fascinated by it and, and I enjoy what I, you know, what I'm collecting. Uh, it cost me, you know, I, like I say, one of these planes I saw, uh, the Stanley 55, I saw a brand new one with all the books and the planes and everything used and the guy wanted 3,000 rand for it. You know, these planes, you, you can pick them up for, depending on the state, but uh, a good one like that will go over the 1,000 rand. Yeah. You know, and, and if I now say I valued my my collection at twenty five thousand rand, so if that is maybe an indication to what I've got, but uh, uh, Alistair, maybe you can make a suggestion there by the club, and uh, as I say, it will. I would prefer it to be by my place, uh, and I'm about seven kilometres from here. Have you got a big beer fridge? Uh, no. <laughs> well, well, I can put up a pry, uh, pry thing and the guys can bring their own oh, yeah. <laughs> It doesn't <laughs> work that way. <laughs> Cheapskate. <laughs> All right, I'll, are we done with the questions and answers about planes? Yes. yes. Okay, now Alistair asked me to show you my horizontal drilling table. So let me just get it and uh, <coughs> <coughs> it's not it's not my invention. I found it in a in a Woodworth magazine of about nineteen fifty six or sixty something. And all it is is two two opposing triangular pieces of wood which are, are locked with Peanuts. and it's, it's to raise and lower the table. I've got this cradle for a 1970s Black & Decker drill, which, I, I, which is still working, so I use it. If you don't have one of these, <coughs> you can, the, the modern drill all has a, have a, they all have necks, which is I think 59 millimeters. I've got another stand which I use my drill for, um, which is just two, it's just a hole, and I've cut it in half with bolts and, and I bolt that in, and it holds the drill very well. So if I, so you can imagine the drill in now, then you need to do and then you just raise and lower the table to wherever you want it. And then this, this table slides back and forth to now, you see, I've got a very, it's a small setup because, I, as you know, I need this reasonably small work. I have, I have, for, for jointing purposes, I have drilled sort of 800, 900 millimeter flat on this. So I'm just very careful how I support it. So it's a simple, simple thing. And if you'd like, it's, I could ask. Got copies of the magazine, I can just email it to Yo, Kevin. Yeah. He can put it in the, in the magazine, in the podcast. Because it's a really simple <laughs> little, little gadget. I made it all by hand, though. It's not that hard. Yeah. And I can just put it in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, nice pieces of oak <coughs> just that long I had squared cut ends. So I just used them. But you could make them. You know, a longer one with steeper angles depending on what you want. But I find on, I seldom draw need to draw if I'm going to draw in the middle of something, very seldom more than 20. 20 millimeters. So you know I don't need a bit for the kind of work I do. And mostly I use it for for uh, jointing planks on a coffee table or something which is about 16, 18 millimeters or so. You don't need a big drop. Mm. But it does the job. And I I don't you see I don't have any stops. I, I just put a pencil on and I do it by eye and estimate. So you don't plan it, you just do it by eye. Yeah. We well, couldn't you know, I couldn't plant the fences, but, but when you're working with a lot of plant, I just I, I, I mark it, I mark my two plants together. I, and then I set the draw. I always use a, 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 a spread point, spread point bits. I have my line, and then I have a little line there just to guide me straight, so that you are going on straight. Yeah. And then I always, always have my face, face down. And then I know that when I put it together, if the bottom's not hundred percent, my face is. It always comes right, and it works. Right. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. Because to try and do a, I get through beer, I get through I've never ever had one, even with a drilling jig, I've had, I've had disasters. So this I've never had a failure. Mm. Simple little piece of equipment and it's really worth the effort to make. Interesting. No, it's, it's simple. You like jigs, you really make yourself one. It's not bad. Well, I've got my old man's Lewis Forts. I mean, it's got. Has it got a cradle like this? Yeah. Yes. I mean, uh, yeah. you could make a jig quite comfortable. Yeah. But even if you don't, you could, you, I, I've got another board with a, with a, I've just got like a, an arch, and I've cut the hole, cut it off, and, and, and I've got a hole through it, mm. and I just put my bill in, just to it up with a banner, mm. and it holds it. Oh, that's it, that is good. You can go and do that one when you finish watching the lunch. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, and what's the Aussie party? He's the Aussie side. Right, guys, thanks for coming. Thank you, Winston. I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. 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 Thank you.